Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with a free college football pick for you guys for Wednesday, October 4th. We're going to talk Jacksonville State at Middle Tennessee, and to do that, let's bring in our guy, Jesse Shule, talk a little college football. Jesse, how's college football been treating you, my friend? It was treating me fantastically, Lenny, until uh, I went and laid an egg on Saturday, went 1-3, and three. I was 0-3 oh with totals, hit my side, still haven't lost a side yet this season. Um, okay. Did well with the free picks as well, and I, this game I really like, Lenny. I like this one. So Wednesday matchup. I'm happy to have college football on a Wednesday. Let's just say that Jacksonville State, the Gamecocks here, traveling in Middle Tennessee, taking on the Blue Raiders. The Raiders are my, Blue Raiders are minus four. The over under sits at fifty one and a half. Jesse, where are you going with this one? All right. So Jacksonville State four and one, Middle Tennessee uh, one and four. First glance, well, well, we've got a four and one team versus a one and four team. You're going to look at the team with the better record. Well, not so fast, my friends. Uh, Middle Tennessee has ran the gauntlet. They played Alabama, uh, Colorado State, and uh, West, uh, Missouri. And they last week they played Western Kentucky on the road. And uh, Western Kentucky's got a pretty high powered offense. And Middle Tennessee couldn't keep up. But despite the rough schedule, despite the fact that they've played. Uh, a whole bunch of Power 5 teams. Quarterback, uh, Vadiato, not bad numbers. 1,168 yards, seven touchdowns, four picks. Could be a lot worse when you're playing teams, uh, a couple SEC teams and a uh, Mountain West team and, uh, uh, yeah, and Middle and, sorry, Western Kentucky last week. But uh, Smothers, the quarterback for Jackson State, some pretty pedestrian numbers, 474 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. The guy hasn't made a lot of mistakes, but he just doesn't move the ball that often. Uh, I, I think this is a mismatch. Middle Tennessee at home, uh, they did finish with an 8-5 and five overall record last year. They won their bowl game against San Diego State. And I think uh, th this number is influenced by the fact that they're off to a 1-4 and four start, but you've really got to put into perspective who they've played and now facing a conference opponent against a team that's just newly promoted um, and has, has built a winning record against weak competition. This looks like a great spot to take the home favorite at just minus four. So we're going with the Blue Raiders. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders here minus the four points. Uh, I'll ride with you. I'm not a 100% in love with the pick. Uh, or with love. I'm not in love with the game in general, but uh, I'd like if I'm going to go aside, I'm going Middle Tennessee here with you. I'm in the car. No seatbelt needed. Let's roll. Don't forget you're looking for more Jesse Shules premium plays. Head over to picksandparlays.net. Use the promo code NCAAF. That'll save you 20% off your entire purchase over there. Till then, we're going to roll Middle Tennessee minus the four points on Wednesday. October 4th, I'm Detroit Lenny Picks and Parlays. Jesse Shaw, we appreciate you. Thank you. Good luck. Unless you're against us, folks. Take care.